An anonymous author once said, Everything in life is temporary. So if things are going good, enjoy it because it won't last forever. And if things are going bad, don't worry because it won't last forever. You see, nothing is more terrifying than the chronic state of anxiety that one has when he or she is subject to the illusion that things in life can be held onto or, or protected in some way. Because in truth, nothing can. Basic to life is the understanding that the things we own, the things we see, and the people we love are all temporary. Now this may seem like a bitter announcement, but if you think about it, it's actually a very liberating um, claim because then we no longer have to cling on to things. We can say, okay, I understand that things in life are temp temporary, so I don't have to hold on to it for dear life anymore. I just enjoy it for what it is. Recognize the trap that you're setting for yourself that you're constantly living a life in denial that things are fleeting. And when you live in that state, you're always setting yourself up for disappointment because anything you cling on to will eventually disappear. One day our grandparents are healthy, the next they're dying. One moment we're happy, the next we're sad. One day we receive a gift, the next it gets lost or stolen. I know that this may seem like a cruel game that reality is playing on us, but it's just the law of nature. And as long as you don't accept the fact that things in life are temporary, then you're always going to live in a state of anxiety and stress. If you can say, I accept that everything in life is fleeting, then you can finally be at peace with yourself and with the environment around you. Life is motion. Life is change. And I don't mean that on the figurative level. I mean that on the apparent level. That everything we see may seem as if it's there, but in reality, at its core, it's, 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 it's giving birth and it's dying. A flame, for example, right? You light a candle. To the apparent eye, it seems like it's one flame, but in reality, it's rising. One flame is rising and another is dying. One flame is rising and another is dying. But it's happening at such a rapid pace that to the naked eye, it seems like it's one flame. You go to a lake. You dip your head underwater. The lake that was there when your head was above water is completely different than the lake that was there when your head was underwater. Because at every moment, there's new waves of water coming. The physical structure, right? The subatomic particles that we are all made up of are even themselves giving birth and dying. When I move my finger from here to here, it may seem as if it's one solid matter moving, but in reality, the particles are just dying from here and repositioning themselves into this position of space. But to the apparent eye, it seems as if it's one constant motion. So even at the core of life, things are dying and giving birth at every moment. So we ask ourselves, why? Why is the nature of life change? How come I can't have things forever? Wouldn't life be amazing if I can get something and it's mine forever? I earn a million dollars, it's mine forever. I get a gift, it doesn't disappear, it's mine. The people I love are in my life forever. How come life isn't like that? And this is a very deep question. It's, it's a fundamental question to ask yourself because it's like we are unconscious when things disappear and we don't know why and we get upset. There's room for, for being upset, of course. You know, when someone dies, there's a place for mourning. But there's a lot of things in life that we, that we, we get upset over and we lose ourselves in when there's really no need for it. If you recognize the basic truth of reality. So among the many reasons um, why life is always in constant motion, why things disappear, one of them is that 
change is spontaneity. If, if things were here forever, it'd be boring. The fact that things are always changing and coming and disappearing gives us excitement. And so that's one reason. But on a deeper level, and this is what I wanted to convey to you, is that life's impermanence is what causes us to embrace it. Say the doctor comes to me and tells me, Yossi, your grandfather, unfortunately, is dying in two weeks. Knowing that my grandfather has an expiry date two weeks from today, every moment that I spend with him is a moment of full presence, a moment of such quality. But if, on the other hand, the doctor came up to me and said, Yossi, this is the first case that we've seen, but your grandfather has superhuman cells and he's going to live forever. Every time I visit him, of course, you know, hi puppy, how are you, I love you, and I'm going to say hi to him, but it's not going to be as deep as if I knew he had an expiry date. And this applies to everything. The fact that we know that our loved ones, oh, oh, the fact that we know that our loved ones aren't always going to be here is what encourages us to, to love them so much. But we get so lost in the reality of distraction that we forget that our loved ones are, are going to disappear one day or the things that we cherish are going to disappear. And so we take them for granted. And when they eventually do disappear, we say to ourselves, fuck, you know, I wish I spent more time with him. I wish I, I, I cherished that gift more or whatever it is. So if you can make this a mantra where when things are going good in life, you can tell yourself it's not always going to be here. So let's appreciate it for what it is. And when things are going bad, you can say, it's not always going to be here. So this situation that's really not benefiting my, me right now is going to, to pass away. And if you can remind yourself of that in every situation while doing the actions, while doing the motions of what you need to do in life, then the quality of your life will enhance in, in every area. And you're going to be a way happier person. So good luck.